What's going on everyone and welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of the new Amazon Prime original movie, The Tomorrow War. This movie of course is directed by Chris McKay. Now before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like any of these videos, awesome, hit that like button as well as comment me below on any to watch, including this one. So The Tomorrow War is about a group of freedom fighters who actually travel about 40 years into the past to warn the population of Earth that a oncoming alien attack is going to strike within the next 30 years, which is going to decimate the planet. In the process, they have devised a way for a worldwide draft to send people of all ilks and you know, ages and so on and so forth to go to the future to fight. It's not going very well, so what do they do? They keep drafting people. And in the process, our main character, of course, is played by Chris Pratt, who plays Dan Forrester. He's married to a character is played by Betty Gilpin. They have a young daughter, but he's a very distant individual because he's always not picked for a science project, science, you know, research study. And in the process, he's basically picked to be part of the draft. And he's sent to basically to the future along with people like Sam Richardson, who plays Charlie, and Edward Hodge, who of course plays Dorian. And uh, in the process, we learn a little bit about who these creatures are, and he ends up becoming friends or kind of aligning himself with this character who's played by Yvonne Swarovski. And uh, there's some kind of uh, interesting content there, and we basically see a story about an alien invasion, how they can stop the alien invasion, time travel, and what it's like for a father, a husband, and a patriot, because he's an army vet, or he is a vet of some sort to basically be the savior of the population of the world, which is like I said, down to 500,000 people. So if you do or don't know about this movie, uh, it was supposed to release on Christmas day of 2020. Unfortunately it got pushed back because of the pandemic and then eventually, eventually by, by Amazon for roughly $200 million. And you can see why they bought it because it has a large stack cast, very notable people as well as a high, uh, high budget sci-fi concept. So it would play pretty well on streaming. And it's a movie that, like I said, is very, very in my wheelhouse in a lot of aspects because like I said it has a lot of great cast I like Chris Pratt Yvonne, Yvonne Strahuski was in Chuck which is a lot, a lot of fun when it comes to a TV show with high concepts it also has Sam Richardson who was just in Werewolves Within which I really enjoyed and it's a movie that once again is something I enjoy when it comes to like alien invasions and time travel and sci-fi elements and stuff like that so watching the trailers for this movie I was really excited by it I like the idea of just and a future war with aliens that are you know, unique and kind of scary and you don't know what you're doing because you're one of those regular people maybe works at a, like a Amazon or you know even like a grocery store or something like that so you're kind of wet behind the ears but it was a movie that I just thought could be cool could be fun it could be entertaining for apparently 140 minutes which it didn't really need to be and it leaves me with such sadness when I talk about this film now, thinking about it and trying to uh, find something positive about a movie like this. Because when you look at a film like this or you look at Army of the Dead, yes, you can kind of leave your brain at the door and stare at the screen like a blank slate. But in the end, when you have a film like this that has such a high concept, that has such an interesting uh, idea by, behind it, and all you see is just badly written characters, badly written storytelling, badly written development, badly designed character uh, creatures and it feels like an overlong overstuffed silly sci-fi movie in the sense of like you know the 50s or 60s it's just not that entertaining i've seen this story before i've seen not in that essence but i've seen this outline of a story when it came, comes to creatures attacking earth and it you know you look at stuff like independence day and edge of tomorrow they did it much much better the problem once again is this movie's two hours and 20 minutes like army army of the dead which is you know two and a half hours hours and it doesn't feel like it needs to be that long it feels like there's so much kind of fluff and just kind of overstuffness and scenes are taking way much longer than they should and you know the set pieces are kind of bland and overwrought and it just everything about this movie just it, it completely falls apart under its own weight and that was the same problem with army of the dead there's just nothing redeeming about it it's just, everybody's just stilted and boring and bland they just don't feel like they're they're they almost feel like they're bored in the movie even though i know they're really trying and I'm not trying to take down the crew and whatnot and cast that work on these types of films, but there has to be more there. You know, to make an interesting sci fi film, you have to have characters that you want to root for as they're being attacked by the aliens or being they're going after and they're becoming the hero and stuff like that. You know, J.K. Simmons pops up in here as the father of Chris Pratt's character, and he just seen the Chris Pratt just seems to have a 180 with him at some point in the movie. Uh, Yvonne Strahovski doesn't her her eventual kind of why who she is and why she's in the movie movie is 
is fine, but it just, there's nothing there behind this emptiness of her character. And, you know, watching a movie like this, it is beautiful to look at. Some of the CGI is, you know, wonderful. And some of the, you know, action is kind of fun, but it just, it goes on for way too long. There's points in this movie where, like, you don't really understand why the creatures are even doing what they're doing outside of just being bad creatures. And that's a, that's going into, like, Independence Day uh, Requiem or whatever, where it's just, like, there's no logic behind their creatures at all. They're just creatures of blank minds and stuff like that that have very similar kind of concepts and tropes when it comes to like senses and the way they detect people and i keep going back to like edge of tomorrow because it deals with this same high concept idea where you know tom cruise keeps going back the same day and kind of repeating everything but there's a logic to it there's a reason to it there's an idea to it there's a representation of a well-developed script a well-developed idea and you know having these characters have three dimensions to them really helps the project and there's none of that here i just was completely baffled while i was watching this movie and i actually got to a point where i stopped it halfway through because i was so exhausted by just how mind-numbingly bad everything was about this movie and it's not saying there's not some interesting stuff the time travel stuff at the beginning with the concept of what goes on and what ends up happening everything goes from bad to worse I liked it. I liked the concept of what the time travel, but it's not fully explained. It's not, they're just like, they kind of throw everybody in there and they go, you have a one minute before you travel to the past. And it just, I, I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, you really just made time travel stupid, but I like the idea of it, but there's no substance to it that makes it even, you know, worthy of a mention that it's a good time travel movie. And like I said, you know, there is a very defined beginning, which is just over bland stuff, you know, exposition. There's the middle part, and then there's the ending part that just kind of like, okay, so you you really could have shaved like, you know, 20 minutes somewhere in this movie to make it two hours long, and that just doesn't happen. So it's a shame. It, it really was something I was looking forward to. And uh, sometimes it's just, you know, it's these high concept sci-fi action movies that maybe they're just hard to do. Maybe they're, unless you have the right person with the right ideas and concepts, and you're using uh, logic and reasoning behind your script writing, but in this movie, it's just it's bad so uh it's not the worst it's probably not gonna be the worst movie i see this year but it's definitely not the best so but there you go that'll be my take on the tomorrow war thank you so much for watching uh i wish i watched something better uh in the comments below what is your favorite high concept sci-fi action movie is it something like edge of tomorrow paycheck inner space those types of movies but let me know in the comments otherwise if you like what you see on this channel hit the subscribe button to join movie emporium hit that notification bell top the fun is coming next if you like this video awesome hit that like button and uh we'll See you guys on the next video. Peace out.